Hi, this is Petra Abner and welcome to my Wonder Studio. Come on in, have a look. My studio is located about 15 minutes north of Powell River on Highway 101 towards Lund. I just finished building the studio a few months ago. And so from now on, I think we're going to be open by appointment and possibly on weekends. Most of the time it is a working studio. So anytime somebody wants to come by when the sandwich board is out, they're welcome to come. It's such a pleasure to uh, see what people love and what they appreciate in the art and to have them come from all over the world. I've been doing creative artwork since I was a child, everything from batik to uh, needlepoint to pottery. So this was just a natural extension for me. It's like the air I breathe. I have to do it. It's an absolute must. What inspires my artwork is nature and being in the moment and seeing things that are right in front of us. Getting to that peaceful, quiet center when I do art where time stops. That's what art does for me. As far as acrylic painting, I took some courses. Our teacher was from Calgary and she really made me see things in different ways. She said, you know, paint upside down, paint sideways, take your glasses off, then you can see the light and the dark. And so, you know, painting is really about life. And so she really, she really uh, taught me how to look at things in a different way. The heart art actually started way before COVID. I've been painting about seven, eight years now, and I only painted hearts. I noticed all around me that there are hearts in some way, shape or form. It doesn't matter if it's a cloud or if it's a, it's a rock on the beach, you know, trees or even animals sometimes have prints on them that resemble a heart. The message for heart art is that love is all around us. And all we have to do is open our eyes and see that it's there. The process for the heart art is working from either an image or amalgamating different images, making it my own. This is a piece I'm working on right now. Um, it's the waves on the ocean in some tropical place. There's waves rolling in and they're the shape of a heart. I think I'm going to call this piece Love Rolling In. First we start with the uh, color blocking and then after that we get more into the more into the details and uh, That'll be the next heart art. I discovered acrylic pouring less than a year ago, I think, and absolutely fascinated with the process. And the reason why is because you have absolutely no control. You, you think you do, you imagine the outcome to be a certain way, and it's always completely different. So it taught me to literally go with the flow to let go of the expectations of the end result and uh, enjoy the journey because that's really what it is. And every piece is original. There's no other piece like it anywhere else. And uh, so I really enjoy that. I just kind of watched a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> and made it my own. I take different colors and um, it gets mixed uh, with particular um, things such as a flow trawl or a pouring medium. Then we add some, um, some silicone, um, which produces cells. And there's different types of techniques. We could put this on a, on a canvas and uh, have the color run over uh, the bottom of these. They make uh, flowers or you can layer your paint into a funnel and drag it along the surface. And then you can use a blow dryer if you want to make a flower. Let's say you can blow your flower out on the canvas. And once you've poured the color on there and you're running a like a squeegee or um, a piece of plastic, like a plastic divider over top of it, creates all these different kinds of worlds. The process is super, super fun. People can find my artwork at Artique on Alberni in Powell River. And I have two displays there that people can enjoy. I have my work online at uh, www.one-earth.ca.